what was the difference right off the bat for you tonight? Well, I, I think, honestly, Jimmy, our starts were better up there in terms of territory and attacking. Um, but we got through it. And, uh, you know, penalty kill was good for us tonight. Obviously, has been the whole series. And our power play caught up to our penalty kill tonight. So that helps. You know, that shorthanded goal kind of changes the dynamic of the game. All. When they have a chance to extend on the power play. Um, you know, it gives us life. So, um, again, hopefully we're a little cleaner out of the gate. On, on, on Sunday, but um, playing with a lead, we've talked about it enough. It, it makes it different for both teams and it certainly helped us tonight. Coach, what's it say about a guy like Jeremy who steps into the situation as a young goalie and just sees him so calm? Yeah, well, that's his demeanor. Uh, and, I th and I think that won't change. Um, you know, the farther we go along, you know, that some of that will get tested, obviously, for a young guy. These are the most important games he's probably ever played. Uh, so so we'll see. But we knew that about him. Um, and listen, Joe, right up till the end, we weren't sure who would be our, our game one starter. We just felt all Mark had the better finish. So that's the way we went. So, um, he, you know, he worked on his game in between. Um, you never know if you're going to get a shot. If the other guy stays hot, whatnot. Uh, he got his opportunity. He was ready for it. I think it says what it always has. He's a consistent, he's a good pro for a young guy. He's a really good pro. Um, you know, and he, he'll get tested again Sunday, but, um, you know, he passed his first one. It's a night where your top guys are all over the score sheet. Do, do you think that's more comforting for the coaching staff or for the guys in the room to see that? Well, performance? Probably, uh, certainly both. Um, I mean, I'm not living in their heads, but I know that the onus this time of the year is on your best players being your best players. We hear that. Sentiment, we'll hear it. How many games are tonight? Four times? Four games tonight, we'll hear it probably from four coaches. He's on the winning team, and uh, typically that's what you need. Not every night, but typically. And uh, tonight they were. Um, you know, if you have a little success in the power play, I've always said it, can, it bleeds into the rest of your game and, and vice versa. So uh, they got it going. The, the back together again probably gave them a little comfort knowing that the success they've had, so, so that helps them. Um, and it's up to the rest of the group not to fall off. And I found we had good contributions from everyone. Maybe not necessarily on the score sheet for some of the lines, but they were they're working hard to create offense. Bruce, if you were uh, if you were charting your emotional spikes tonight in terms of what's happening on the bench and, and gaining traction and sort of emotion, was it the the shorty to get it going? Was it the key saves, the timely saves, and 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 what is the effect in the playoffs of having that emotion? Uh, I think we were a generally calm group tonight, Kevin. We, we know what's at stake. Um, you know, the crowd gives you a lift, obviously. You score a huge goal, then all of a sudden play stops and have a bit of a medical emergency. So there's a reset there. Everyone's kind of wondering um, and hoping and obviously send out our well wishes that, you know, that the, the gentleman's fine. And then you're back to work. You know, that, that call on Clifton, there was a little bit of, you know, okay, what's going to happen here? Is this going to work out against us? And, you know, if so, we'd be better be ready to get an important kill here. So we got through that. So there's always some ups and downs. And you're going to get a lift from when Marshy scored. I mean, you know, he, he, that's a big lift for us. We got a lead. I think that was the second goal, if I'm not right. So we got a lead now for the first time and against this team in, in uh, since, what, 2020 or something? Like, it's been a while. So now all of a sudden we get to play a little more comfortable game and, so there's a lot of those emotions go through. And then, you know, they score the, the second goal and all of a sudden it's like, OK, now it's it's four two. They had, we hadn't given up much. And I thought our response was good on the bench, too, and on the ice. Hey, you know what? That's you know, that's not going to phase us at all. It's back to work. And I thought we did a real good job limiting any offense till maybe the last two minutes. And even then we, you know, if you look at the block shot column, some of our guys tonight really. I mean, to me, those are the unsung heroes, guys that kept worked really, really hard to keep the puck um, you know, out of their net, like Forbert, for example, you know, in the back end, he really showed his value tonight. Uh, you just led into my question perfectly. What what can you say about the job that Derek Forbert did and, and what does it do for the bench when you see him? I just him answered it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> when you see him blocking that many shots. It it's, he's a, he's a popular guy. He's very quiet. Uh, you know, if it, uh, it doesn't say much, um, you know, talks about him and his dog, his simple life and, and, 
you know, and, and, but he's, a, he's got personality when he gets to know him. But so guys root for guys like that. Um, and again, that he was brought in to be a, that type of stay at home, try to be a stiff defender, keep the puck out of your net, shot blocker, really good on the PK. And, you know, he's been as advertised for, we're trying to build some of the other parts of his game and he's working hard at it. But um, those are the guys that, that, that make a difference in these, in these type of games too. You, you need your scores to score. Bruce, can you talk about uh, Jake's play tonight? Uh, the two on one that led to Charlie's goal and specifically that play defensively where he kind of got horizontal on the penalty kill block in that shot. Yeah, it was a nice play on the kill. It, we, we've we've tried to use them as a pair. Freddie, we were working Frederick in to start the year to get him some more minutes because Jake was playing power play. Uh, but we know they can be a threat the other way, those two, because Jake's got the foot speed and, and the IQ to make those plays. And um, so that was a big lift for us, a, a big time goal. And, and then, you know, listen, the, the offensive guys want to get going in the series, right? So, you know, now, now like, you know, a little bit of, you know, they can breathe a little easier when they, when they, when they make a play and it results in a goal. Uh, I love this shift in, uh, towards the end of the game along the wall where he, we had to go down and eat a puck in the half wall, got hit from behind, kept his balance. And, and instead of just throwing it away and losing the battle and keeping it our end, he got it out into the, I think it hits the glass and goes out. So now we got a fresh set of legs out there. Little things like that, that just sort of give you a, a reset. And, and to me, that's commitment uh, for the crest, right? You're, you're, you're managing the puck and taking a hit to make a play, et cetera, all for the good of the team. And, and that's playoff hockey. And we had a lot of that tonight. And, as a result, we're, we're back in the series. Coach? Yeah, it, it appeared tonight that uh, the phrase good defense leads to good offense. Would that be accurate uh, tonight? Yeah, and we've seen it from them. I mean, they, they you know, they, they, numerically, you can, you know, they were the top team defensively, and I think we were fourth. So we both pride ourselves in that part of the game and rely on transitioning pucks uh, from good defense. And you know, I thought we made a couple of adjustments on our breakout not to get pinned by their forecheck as much, so we executed well. So we're in and out of our end a, a little cleaner, and we'll take a look at it and see if that's something we'll continue to do. But um, neutral zone guys early on got behind us. That's what's going to Matt's question or um, Jimmy's. That our start, we had guys falling down a little bit. I don't know if the, the it, whatever just and, and all of a sudden An An D'Angelo's up on the rush, and it was Martinuk I think got a half breakaway. And it was just more positional. We, we lost our footing. So I was wondering, like, what the hell's going on out there tonight? That Like, they're a good team. We don't need to be kind of, you know, putting ourselves in bad spots that way. But we got through that. And then our good defense in the neutral zone translated to a lot of uh, good rushes. So that, that's certainly something we want to do against this club. Um, easier said than done. But tonight it worked in our favor. Well, some of our guys in the room uh, have been through a lot. You know, I'm, I'm getting farther along myself with, with some different playoff series. They take on all sh shapes and forms. I mean, Bergie's addressed the group even before the playoffs. Like, listen, you're going to hit adversity sooner or later. And we happen to hit ours early. The Bruins went through it in 11. They lost their first two at home. And they battled claw back to win in a seven-game series. So you can't let, you know, what happened the night before, you know, affect your – your mindset, it could affect what you're going to do on the ice, the adjustments you're going to make, how you necessarily need to play, but you still have to have a mindset of, okay, every game takes on a life of its own, um, and you got to be ready and, and, and prepared for that one. And that's the difference with playoffs, I think. Whereas regular season, you're always kind of building and looking back at things, and in the playoffs, you can't look too far back, win or lose. You know, you got to get ready for the next one, anticipate maybe whatever changes you need to make, but be ready to go. And I think our group is good at that because of you know, the veteran guys that have been around. Even the young guys have said this. Carlo McAvoy and and uh, DeBrusque, I'll put him in that category, have all been through some, uh, I forget, it's Pasternak. You know, they're, they're, they've they're all been through playoff series. They, they know there, there's highs and lows. And, you know, a, a one nothing lead in a series doesn't guarantee or 2 nothing. You know, it, you, know you got to keep playing until you get to four. So for us, it's one at a time. We're, we're on our way to two. They'll be focused on three. And that's just the way everyone looks at it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>